Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullah. Peace, light, blessings, and divine strength and support be with you. Welcome, brothers and sisters. This is Ihsan. And another Ramadan reminder as we move through this holy month, as we move towards the conclusion of this holy month and beyond. And today's reminder is to pray, to make dua, to supplicate for Allah Almighty to grant us heavenly support, divine support, specifically to pray for Mahdi alayhi salam. Strangely and sadly, this is a topic that isn't discussed enough within our community and amongst our ulama and amongst our ulama. The Prophet ﷺ prophesied, he predicted that after him would come rightly guided khulafa, rightly guided successors, and that authority would pass throughout the generations, ultimately to sultans and to kings and ultimately to despots and to tyrants, and that the khilafah would be taken away, that the leadership of the Muslim ummah, of the Muslim world would be compromised, would be lost, that there would be a lack of a Muslim leader, someone, a human being who could ensure justice, who could act as a representative seeking to serve God's will, to create a world, to create a community, to create a nation based on justice, based on goodness. The Prophet ﷺ predicted that the Islamic leadership would be lost, that we would be lacking a Khalifa, which has existed from the beginning of this Ummah until early the last century, early 20th century in which the Ottoman Empire was destroyed and we have been leaderless and headless ever since. And anybody, any community must have a leader. The Prophet ﷺ also predicted that the world would continue to descend into tyranny, into chaos, into abuse, into oppression until the rightly guided leader of the Muslim community was reinstated by Allah's will, Al-Mahdi alayhi salam. And that is leadership that is provided by the divine. It's not something that we will get together make consensus about, elect a leader, choose a leader, forcefully insert a leader. No, it is by Allah's will. And until Al-Mahdi arrives, until Al-Mahdi is made manifest by Allah's will, our world will continue to deteriorate and to devolve culturally, spiritually. So it becomes incumbent upon us. If things are going to get better in the world, we must be praying for Mahdi. Every Imam, every scholar should continually be praying for Mahdi we should be praying for Mahdi alayhi salam, always making the dua that Allah send Al Mahdi alayhi salam, because with the Mahdi also comes Jesus alayhi salam. When Mahdi appears, when Mahdi is made manifest, when Mahdi alayhi salam takes leadership of the Muslim world, Jesus alayhi salam too will descend. And these two then will guide humanity to light, to goodness, to justice, to beauty, to excellence, to faith. Our teachers, our shuyukh, our ulama taking from traditional, classical, spiritual knowledge, have taught that that will be an age, that will be a time in which human potential will be unveiled, opened, awakened. It will be the time for the unlimiting of human potential, the potential that Allah Almighty created us with. We are capable of so much more than what we know, than what we are accustomed to thinking and believing. Human beings are capable of miracles by Allah's will. And that will be the time in which there will be an opening for miraculous realities, for human beings. That will be a time in which the true power of belief, of Iman, will be awakened, will be made manifest, the power of the human heart. That will be the time in which human beings awaken to what they are capable of, as believers and as deputies of Allah Almighty. It will be a beautiful time, a heavenly time, a peaceful time, a prosperous time, a just time, a time of goodness, a time of light, a time of love, a time of beauty, and it is said that all of the prophets of Allah, all of the prophets and messengers of Allah prayed to be in that time, to give up, that they would give up their prophethood to simply be amongst the last of the ummah of Muhammad sallallahu To be in that blessed and holy time in which would manifest the will of Allah for humanity. And of all the prophets, of all the messengers, the one that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala accepted that dua, that supplication from was Jesus alayhi salam. And so he returns. This is based on traditional knowledge. This is based on classical knowledge, on prophetic knowledge. And as believers, we must be looking forward to that glorious, that beautiful time, that time of light, that time of beauty, that time of miracles. Our Shaykh used to call it Al-Asr Al-Karamat, the age of miracles. So as believers, again, there is so much tyranny, there's so much injustice, there's so much inequity in the world. We must be praying for a rightly guided leader, a rightly guided Khalifa, a rightly guided Sultan to help show the world, show us, how to return to the destiny which we were created for. And the destiny of human beings is to manifest the will of the divine, to manifest beauty, to manifest goodness, to manifest justice, to be conduits, living portals for the light of the divine to enter into the world. Let us remember to pray for Mahdi alayhi salam, 
and to prepare for Mahdi to be praying and preparing that Allah Almighty may honor us to be amongst those who will be with Al Mahdi, who will be with Jesus alayhi salam. And we pray, may Allah Almighty make us of those true believers in whose hearts is the love for Allah, the love for the Messenger, the love for eternity, and that Allah free us from the love of this world, the love of the temporal, the love of the passing, the love of the fleeting, the love of the illusory. May Allah liberate us and free us from that and guide us to true belief. Allahumma ameen. May He subhanahu wa ta'ala encompass you and your household and your family with His divine peace, protection, with His guidance and with His light to your divine and eternal success. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullah. Thank you.